Hey there and welcome to Plants vs Germans. This video today is going to be a harvest video where we are going to harvest garlic. We have garlic right here and we planted it during April or March and for this year we just used a cheap supermarket garlic and it was from Spain so right now the plants look really really bad as you can see and I already harvested one garlic just to see if it's good or not and they do look better than what the plants look so before it starts rotting in the ground I'd say we start harvesting and we have a whole row goes all the way down there and some garlics like there looks fine and I'm probably gonna leave those in same goes for the onions they some of them have to get harvested soon too but the leaves on the onions look better than on the garlic so I think they still have a bit of time left and on the right side here there's also a bit of garlic so let's get started with or for harvesting I'll just try to get the bulb a bit free and start pulling waggling a bit see if I can pull it out without ripping off the green but ooh, that one's good as you can see the bulb is way bigger than what the plant looks like and that's a pretty decent garlic so I'll just pull it out right now and leave it for dry uh, to dry there and let's see let's go to the next one they're quite hidden here oh this one is basically already dead I hope the bulb is still fine we'll find out and start waggling Ooh, this one doesn't seem to get, go out easy uh -oh. gotta clean off the sides a bit more don't want to use a shovel because I don't want to wreck the soil too much Ooh. Oh, should have used a shovel here. As you can see, I lost the fight with the garlic and I had to get the shovel. I hope I don't wreck it. Got to get a bit deeper and just get it out like that. But that is a nice bulb and I'm happy I got I was able to harvest it. The next ones here don't really seem to be easier than the first ones. So I'll try it again, but it looks like I'll probably have to use a shovel a bit more. Yep. This one looks a bit better. Let's try it out. And it ripped too. So I'll have to use a shovel. So another two nice bulbs. This one is especially nice since it's really, really round compared to this one, which has a bit of an X shaped. Yeah, very nice. Let's see how many more I'll harvest. I'll show you in a sec. This one finally seems to go out nice and easy. As you can see, I can already wiggle it around. So hopefully with a bit of force, I should have a nice bulb in a sec. Oh yeah, very good. Ooh, this is a giant. Very nice. As you can tell, there are quite a few of the garlics in a row here. We have at least three or four just on the small space here. And to shorten the video a bit, I'll just start harvesting and show you the results in a second. I'm actually not gonna harvest all of the garlic today because as you can see, some of the plants still look really, really nice and green. And even the bulbs are still a bit green on top. And they're quite big, so uh, I assume that they're still going to grow. But um, it's only like five, six, seven plants left. And even if they don't grow anymore and rot because I didn't harvest them, it, it's fine since I harvested all of the other bulbs already. This concludes our garlic harvest for this season or for the summer season. Since we used cheap Spanish supermarket garlic, we didn't really have any expectation 
how much we're going to harvest since we also thought that the plants won't survive the harsh weather during March and April. But here we are and I'm actually quite happy with the amount of garlic we were able to harvest and the bulbs aren't huge as you can see but they aren't small either though I think we have one tiny bulb right here but I'm really happy with the amount we were able to harvest and we're probably going to use some of those garlic um, some of those and we're probably going to use some of this garlic to plant during winter or maybe not this garlic since it's a Spanish one probably won't survive the winter but we still had some garlic that we had in one of the beds over winter we still have some of it and we're probably going to use this to fill in the bed that I just cleaned out and we still have I think six plants left and I'll be happy to show you next time how big those bulbs have gotten so thanks for watching please leave a like and subscribe and see you next time.